Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture on software architecture and design pattern. Today we are going to discuss third module design pattern catalog. This is the diagrammatical representation of composite motivational example. So that we have taken graphics. The key composite pattern is an abstract class. So represent both the primitive and their container. Okay. So this is the major graphics class. Respective operation, draw operation, add, remove, get child of int. So the graphics class will have the uh, respective subclasses here: light, rectangle, text, picture, and all uh, in the graphics. Uh, uh, what is the respective methods we will have that one so for the graphic system class graphics okay which declares the operations we had seen that draw a specific graphic object and also declares the uh, different operation that compose object to share such operation accessing the managing its particularly uh, children actually the subclasses here line rectangle uh, text uh, we have defined the primitive graphics object uh, these class which implement draw the uh, to draw the draw line rectangle text uh, respectively okay so now here uh, primitive graphics have no child graphics uh, which none of the subclasses implement the child related implementation these all line rectangle text picture so which are not implementing the child related uh, uh, what is the operation so another thing the picture class uh, which is an aggregation of the graphics of this so the picture implement the show here uh, picture which implement that one draw to call draw the on its uh, children particular get children we have that one uh, which are related to the operations accordingly so because picture interface conforms to the graphic interface picture object can compose the other uh, pictures so here recursively so we have another diagram so that uh, diagram shows that typical composite object structure how recursively compose a graphical object so this is the about that managing children so we, we have just told about that one so next one is uh, we have that is the uh, the this is the uh, diagrammatical representation following diagram shows Typical composite object structure, how it is recursively composed a graphics object that we have taken that is a picture. So that is the, a picture we have taken as per the previous diagram. So in that that uh, a composite object, typical object uh, recursively uh, particularly uh, composed graphical object, a picture again in the main root, a line and a rectangle. So in this a picture again a text a line a rectangle so this is the how recursively that is the compose the of the particular object uh, structure so this is the uh, how way we are going to understand that uh, that is the key compose that is the key composite pattern of abstract class always uh, we should say that uh, both uh, which represents the both primitives and their containers that uh, we need to know that actually we know that actually purpose or intent the main uh, uh, main objective of this one is, is the uh, tree structure to represent part or well a whole hierarchy this might be the part or a, uh, we can uh, part of hierarchies when you consider this picture uh, uh, subclasses so next uh, the section part of this uh, implementation is this uh, uh, composite structural design pattern we have that one is the applicability so use the composite pattern when you want to represent part or whole hierarchies of the object we had seen in the previous diagram uh, 
அந்த மாதிரி பார்ட்டாக பார்ட்டாக இருக்கு ஓலாக இருக்கு ஒபியஸ்லி வி நீட் டு அப்ளை ஆர் அப்ளிகேபிள் டு திஸ் டிசைன் பேட்டர்ன் விச் இஸ் வெல் சூட்டபிள் வெரி சூட்டபிள் ஃபார் ஆல் தோஸ் ஆல் தோஸ் திங்ஸ் ஸோ அனதர் யூஸ் த கம்போசிட் பேட்டர்ன் வேன் யூ வாண்ட் டு கிளைண்ட் ஏபிள் டு இக்னோர் த டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் கம்போசிஷன் ஆஃப் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் அண்ட் இண்டிவிஜுவல் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இன் சர்டன் கேசஸ் ட்ரா ரெக்டாங்கல் ஆர் ட்ரா லைன்ஸ் ஆர் பாலிகான்ஸ் ஸோ கிளைண்ட் வில் ட்ரீட் ஆல் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் இன் த கம்போசிட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் விச் ஆர் யூனிஃபார்ம்லி ஸோ தேட் வி நீட் டு கன்சிடர் இன் த அப்ளிகேபிலிட்டி ஆஃப் த கம்போசிட் டிசைன் பேட்டர்ன் so this is the actual the skeleton part or a, a skeleton a structure of the composite structural design pattern so that same example of we had in the motivational example are that almost similar to the always in the structural format so this is the what the client expect from this uh, entire structure so here component so we'll have operations add operations move and get child so this will have the subclasses leaf and uh, composite this uh, this is an example of the picture again this will be again composite to different object for all uh, uh, getting the children of different operation here operations of add component remove component get uh, child in uh, what is that one, of integer type so that we had taken similarly uh this again we are going to uh, decompose again this uh, composite uh, uh, this is a composite uh, will have a, in the previous uh, diagrammatic example we had seen that a uh, picture so that is that this we, we are going to again uh, we need to what is that one so component of uh, this uh, again we are going to decompose it in the next coming diagram a typical composition object structure might look like this so take it like this uh, a composite a leaf again a leaf 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 all a leaf uh, will be taken again if you take a composite you can say recursive the objective part this is the recursive structure power point again a composite will have a leaf leaf again if you consider one more composite if it is there here again again leaf leaf will be uh, this is the part with uh, we need to take it so this is the uh, st- actual structural uh, representation of the uh, we have seen in the uh, composite design pattern so next one is after that we'll come to see that what end all participant so participant entities in this uh, composite uh, structural design pattern so now we we'll let us see uh, we'll discuss in the what end all participant are there in the uh, composite design pattern so the first one is uh, we need to have that one is participant okay component component is the main of our class or the graphics is the motivational example we had that is the major class so what is the component here so which uh, always we have taken that is the component is the graphics class declares the interface for object in the composition or we can say which declares the what is the implement uh, default so here default behavior for the interface common to all the classes as appropriate or which declares the uh, part or uh, declares the interface accessing and managing its child components uh, what is the uh, managing child uh, its child component so and optional another part uh, which component is there which defines an interface for accessing the component which uh, uh, parents in the recursive structure so we had seen in the leaf uh, composite leaf leaf node uh, recursive structure and implements uh, if that is the appropriate is required then we are going to implement it similarly another one is the uh, leaf that is the leaf node that we had taken like the leaf uh, in the motivational example uh, what we had rectangle line text so whatever that we have taken so what does what does it actually leap uh, in the participant so this is a represents leap object in the composition so we had a leap has no children so no doubt about this because the leap has the no children at the end 
also which defines the behavior particularly uh, behavior from primitive object in the composition that is about the leaf and uh, uh, rectangle part that we have taken so rectangle line text and all okay so the next uh, uh, another two is uh, uh, participant is composite that is called as a picture picture in the motivational example so what it does it does that define the behavior for components having the children so it should define that always uh, what does it uh, what are the, all the behavior of the particular in the picture part uh, whatever we have the component having children which stores the child component and which implements child related operations in the component interface whatever that we have so always will be taking into the part composite uh, that is the picture or uh, what we say the subclasses okay similarly last one participant is client so when you know the client is the client itself which manipulate the object in the composition through the component interfaces that client can do like that only always manipulate the object in the component composition of the uh, particular component interfaces so the next we are going to taking into the collaborations uh, what does have the what type of the uh, collaborations uh, have that one in the composite structural design pattern so now we will see the is there any collaborations of the composite design pattern so here collaborations in terms of this composite design pattern client use the component class which interface to interact with the object in the composite structure so here uh, in case if the recipient is a lead which, which we consider collaboration so then the request handled by handled is directly so if the recipient is a composite then it is usually forward request to the child component possibly uh, performing additional operations before and or after forwarding so that collaboration uh, we should consider in the part of collaboration so next uh, this followed by consequences the composite pattern has the the following consequences the one is uh, which defines the class hierarchies consisting of primitives object and composite object so when you consider this in the consequences so primitive object can be composed into we know that more or complex object which uh, uh, in terms it can be composed or it, we can say it is so so on recursively whatever it is so wherever the client code expect a primitive object it can also take a, a particular composite object of that one so another point we need to consider in the consequences uh, the composite pattern makes the client simple so this uh, uh, this is uh, we need to be consider uh, very carefully the client can treat composite structure and individual object uniformly because we know that the intent of this uh, composite pattern so usually client normally don't know that uh, he should not uh, worry about that one uh, what is the uh, re dealing uh, with leaf composite pattern or whatever show it is so which uh, what is does the client this simplifies the client code because it avoids the uh, having uh, to write the tag and case statement style this is we can call it as in a tag and case uh, statement style uh, functions over a, the classes uh, that defines the particular composite uh, design pattern so another point here the consequences of the the composite pattern have can uh, make uh, uh, makes it easier to add a new kind of components 
दिस इज द न्यू थिंग्स न्यूली डिफाइंड कंपोजिट और लीप सब क्लासेस वर्क ऑटोमेटिकली वेन एवर वर्क ऑटोमेटिकली विथ एग्जिस्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर एंड द पर्टिकुलर क्लाइंट कोड सो वी नो दैट द क्लाइंट डोंट हैव टू बी चेंज फॉर ए न्यू कॉम्पोनेंट क्लासेस another point uh, the consequences of the composite pattern can make uh, uh, our design overall general so this is the one that we need to consider disadvantage of making easy to the add new component is that uh, it make uh, it harder to restrict the component of the particular compo uh, components or particular composite design pattern so one thing we need to remember here sometimes uh, we want to composite uh, to have only certain components that we need to remember with composite uh, we cannot uh, rely on the type of the system to enforce the whatever the constraint for we have so that we'll have to use in the runtime set instead of a particular part so this and all consequences the composite pattern have the particular uh, defining class array can make the client uh, simple and uh, make it easier to add the new kind of component can make uh, 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 what is the can make uh, our design or all general part so this is the consequences of the composite pattern so uh, in continuation of this implementation so next we are going to see that implementation so there are many again issues Uh, will be considered when implementing the composite pattern so overall this explicit pa parent reference sharing component maximizing that component interface declaring the child management operations uh, another should component implement uh, a list of component whether child ordering uh, caching to improve the performance who should delete the component what uh, what is the best data structure for storing the component so this and all uh, we need to consider uh, this is the implementation issues when applying the composite design pattern so here we are just uh, briefly discussing about all the point uh, the first one is explicit parent reference so here how we are going to take this maintaining reference uh, uh, for the parent here child component to the parent can simply uh, traverse the management of the composite structure here actually uh, the what is that uh, with the parent reference uh, one of the essential to maintain invariant uh, available in that all the children of a composite have their parent composite that uh, in terms of them has the particular uh, children the easiest way to answer uh, here to change the component parent only when they are being added or uh, we can say it is uh, removed from the composite so if this can be implemented once in the add or remove operation the composite class whatever that one which is inherited by all the sub classes with the uh, invariant will be maintained automatically so that's why we have taken it as an explicit parent references so next issues will be consider the composite uh, and we implementing the composite design pattern uh, sharing component so this is we need to be count what kind of the uh, we know that useful share the component for example uh, reducing the storage uh, requirement so whenever we have to reduce the risk there is a sharing component will be done in the composite design pattern because uh, uh, recursively we can use a particular object or a, a primitive data structure uh, will be uh, stored into the particular part of it so another uh, point uh, this implementation uh, while uh, considering the composite design pattern maximizing the component interface so so this is why we know that what is the meaning of this maximum component interface actually one of the goal of composite pattern we know that uh, uh, is to 
client unaware of the we know the specific leap or we say uh, composite classes they are using whatever using client uh, unaware of this but uh, uh, what is the goal of this one we should uh, achieve that one component class uh, should uh, be defined uh, as many operation composite uh, particular uh, leap classes uh, or the as much as uh, leap classes possible we had seen in the previous diagram so the component class usually uh, we know that provides a default implementation of this operations like composite uh, subclasses or so and so so another thing here uh, our goal will sometimes conflict in the principal class hierarchies of design they say uh, what is what you can say they uh, define the operations of our particularly it is not meaningful to the its subclasses so sometimes in that maximizing the component interface uh, like little creativity so how the operation would appear in the particular composite can be uh, implemented or how we can be take for example so interface for uh, accessing the children as fundamental part of the composite classes but not only not necessarily a leap classes this is point we need to be considered uh, this is the part of the maximizing the our uh, what is the component interfaces so the next one is the fourth point is uh, fourth issues when considering declaring the child management operations so there are a lot of things will be considered here just we will brief about uh, there are the things uh, composite class implementation add and remove operation managing uh, especially for this is the managing uh, uh, children are an important issue in the composite pattern in which uh, whatever the class uh, the operations in the composite class hierarchies okay uh, what uh, should we declare these operation and the composite uh, uh, meaningful leap classes or should have declare uh, define them only uh, in a composite uh, and its subclasses so this decision is will be taken into the there are many trade off between the transparency uh, which involves a trade off between safety and transparency so that we need to consider part defining child management uh, we say that interface of the root class hierarchy uh, always will give the transparencies uh, because uh, what we do here we treat all components uniformly another things uh, decision here defining a child management in the composite class which gives a safety because we are attempting to add and remove object from the uh, we, from leaves will be caught a compile time uh, while in the specifically in the language C++ so that so decision will be considered so like that there are many things uh, uh, part will be we need to consider in the uh, the fourth point declaring the child management operations uh, okay uh, we will move on to the next one is should component implement a list of component yeah you here think yes uh, you might be uh, attempted to define the children as an instance variable of the component class we should consider so uh, this is the thing we need to take it but uh, putting the child pointer to the base class uh, actually penalty for the every leap so even though leap never has a children we know that in the composite uh, uh, diagram whatever we have seen all the leap node it doesn't have a children so that's why should component implement a list of component so that is the it is the depending on the instance of variable how we are taken into the part next one is child ordering the uh, issues will be considered that is the child ordering so many designs here specify the an ordering of the children this is the composite we have taken a get into the child so in the diagram you have the graphical example also we have taken ordering may uh, reflect uh, what, uh, what is that when front to back ordering uh, will really be, which will be considered so when child ordering is, is an issue when you consider an issue uh, we must design child access and management interface carefully to manage the all the sequence of children so that we need to be come similarly seventh one is catching uh, to improve the performance uh, if it is the traversing traverse to or search composition frequently 
uh, in the composite design pattern. So that uh, caching to improve the performance uh, will be considered here composite class uh, catch provides a search information about uh, all the uh, children parts. So that we need to do. So here composite catch actually uh, result uh, or just information about all the uh, what we get a short uh, circuit of the traversal or search. For example, uh, in the motivational example, we had that picture class. So picture class in the during uh, what we have that picture color class from the motivational example, uh, the bounding box of a children we had that. So what does it, uh, how it is the performing that one during the drawing or selection of the bounding box, uh, let uh, what the picture avoid, what, uh, what the changes we have uh, made in the component uh, so that we are all uh, taking into the particular in the parent nodes. So is that the caching to improve the performance of issues will be considered when applying the uh, composite design pattern. Similarly, well, uh, one more is who should delete the components. It depends on the it depends on the what type of the implementation language is used. In the language without garbage correction, it is usually best to make composite is a, one of the responsible deleting its children destroyed when uh, uh, it get uh, destroyed. So depending upon the what is the mutable or immutable lip of the object or can be a shared part. The last one in the implementation uh, issues consider. So when implementing the composite design pattern is uh, uh, composite may use the variety of data structure to store the children like linked list, trees, arrays, asking table, so and so. What best uh, data structure for storing the composite? So, so these are the variety of data structure because primitive data structure all will be stored in. The, so these issues also will be considering into the part.